new coin hoard. It's just been around April last year. And uh, again, something, uh, I, I just can't think of what this coin does. Is, is that the coin I'm thinking about? So many tickers and so many names to think of. Anyway, let's concentrate on trying to figure out this. Clearly, we can see downtrend um, from just this week in November. Uh, there were only uh, several occasions now this moved in March. It had a bit of a uh, auction, which was not a bad actually level for a bounce so we we've, we've had that bounce here i'm gonna mark this actually guys for you that's not the line that's the line i want just where we hit that off here where where this was uh your support here and actually tried to catch the support here it it waked up again and failed to hold it We've seen the sell-off, of course, infamous May, all the way now down to July, which marks the current bottom bottom. And if you cut that bottom, you be up currently nice at two and a half uh, X. Or if you, for some reason, were super lucky and sold on that week which is very hard that's a nice 5x um i need more information for the minute guys two seconds okay so our side kind of tried to come up to the middle here to that 50 it failed um i don't know if you watched that live with um bleeding crypto we were testing this uh way of in of investing uh where you actually uh use only a weekly chart and rsi and you mark it on your chart whenever it uh goes above the 52 mark this isn't a great example because it's a new chart and there isn't a lot really happening it's been just uh, so it's hard to show you, but if you want to go back and watch that stream, it's very interesting. Uh, especially if you're not feeling confident uh, as a trader, as a day trader, but you would love to invest in something and you're just wondering when would be the best time. I mean, of course, you could easily, you know, look at RSI and have your indication and your um notification on for like as low as 20 or 30 and buy there but if you don't have patience and if you don't have um this sort of uh, mindset that i'm in it in a long for long term i don't care um then i wouldn't be using uh, that indicator because like you can see you've bought here there was obviously a good um gains here but to use only rsi um you definitely need a different approach I, I mean actually do you know what if 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 you look at that right if you bought that bottom of the rsi all you need to do is just get your um initial out once once you do uh that double x and then leave the rest so it's it's you know it's actually yeah i mean i kind of go back uh what on what i was trying to say um again guys i don't know what this coin does at the minute it's just out of my head um i think i'm thinking of the wrong coin maybe i'm not but then i don't want to wrong you guys um because there is definitely a, a, another coin is it hoard anyway look let's just concentrate on this price action um we've looked at this Okay, so there's a nice cross here. Uh, 50 is only uh, shaping up right now because obviously it hasn't been around the market for that long. You have your cross of the EMAs here, the 13 and 15. It could come back down again uh, around this level um, just to test that um, five, just down to two cents again. 
uh, especially since market is just not very very strong um, you can see you can see um, obviously just that 15 and uh, if we come back down here to one those psychological levels are uh, mark them um, and you can nearly bet that eventually you know price will come back uh, or move up only just by that psychological level um, they're in, they're important um but yeah just looking at the alpha trend uh, on this uh, at the minute there is some reversal printing and that color uh, unfortunately indicates bearish reversal so like i said we might be uh, you know seeing this come back um i could i could just look it's just down to the two cent um there's, there's just a lot of wiki weeks here Let's go down to the three days for a second. No, I don't want this. Sorry, guys. Don't want to make it too big. Too messy for you. If you want to get into this, guys, a, a long term DCAing again, I, there's definitely a big chance we'll see the two cent again. Um, potentially down to 15 and again down here. But like with a coin uh, I was recently trying to chase for those corrections, for those resets, uh, that didn't happen. But I I feel there is a possibility we'll see at least back down to the two cent uh, level here. And you could potentially start buying from here on. Again, bear in mind, market is just you have to remember you're uh, you're getting into um anything you're getting into you need to have your own conviction for that um reason why you're buying and if you if you buy even at those levels right now i mean i think i was looking at some coin yesterday and i just thought i think it was one inch and i just think there's definitely a moment where you have to realize it is a good risk to reward, reward ratio um what i want to just check here if you go along from here, from around two cents, okay. Oh, two seconds now. This will tell us um, risk to reward. Just use that for a risk and reward um, calculator if you are not sure what I'm talking about. Because in the middle of here, it's going to actually tell you what is the risk to reward. So if we are actually looking at the bottom, bottom would be here, right? So we're marking it just below that one cent where it was like bottom, bottom. Um, let's let's just assume it's going to come back up, even not to the very uh, the all time high. Your risk to reward here is 127. That's huge, and it's actually 8,000 percent if you were to enter from here. Obviously, it's going to change if you start DCAing from here. It's going to have different. Um, um uh, numbers uh you know if you 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 you, you it give you excuse me it give you like average but when you see it obviously guys i mean we could go all the way down to zero right we could just could just go down all the way to zero your robust risk to reward um changes but you obviously kind of understand that uh well i'm not willing to just risk money uh into oblivion and um keep buying until it actually hits a, a zero unless you're so devoted to this um so you assume actually you know what i'm gonna buy uh here but i will stop at this level and um have like my own risk calculated in this as well in terms of how much money i'm willing to lose if it goes south because if you start buying here and and you want to have a stop loss um lower than here you know you have to understand that you're gonna either cut your losses or change your uh change your tactic it's all risk it's all about calculating this risk it's all about understanding these things um yeah i mean i think i've made i made a, a good few points for you guys and things to ponder about um i i'd be looking at this to retest again uh about two cents although it looks strong in terms of that indicator here um 
I'm not saying it's reversing, reversing. I'm just looking, those candles are a little bit uh, getting reddish. But there's a nice strong trend still uh, happening. We see the green um, uh, bubbles, dots. Uh, this is, uh, the trend line is showing us green. We have this strength here as well uh, on the, this is a three day chart. Maybe potential just a little chop, but actually go down to the daily chart. Yeah, because I'm repeating myself back in circles. Expect uh, expect the two cent uh, in around this level to be retested potentially all the way down to this uh, zone here. So that's it for hard.